Okay, I'll try and see if we can make this one look good. Alright, let's see what this one is and how big we're going to make it. It is found it on the ground for a change. Oceana Cruises Discover Europe in 2019. Okay, so we're going to put this on the glass. I'm going to line it up, make sure I cover up this, make sure I don't get this edge here. So I'm going to try and put a thing in the little notch in the paper so I can find where to put the edge. It's not easy trying to locate the notch, folks. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> We're just going to make it there, I think. I think that's it. That's going to be... Hang on, what have I done? Let me think. I'm trying to... I'm doing it wrong. I, I wasn't meant to put it sideways. I was meant to put it up this way. This is the way it's meant to go. So I'm just going to try and find the, the notch that I've put in the in the piece. I'm just going to put it upside down. Maybe slide it up a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't know how big we're, exactly we're going to make it. It's, it's, it's about an A6 in the width, I think. So we're just going to go and set up the enlargement. So the horizontal is going to be 200 and the vertical is going to be considerably larger or maybe not maybe 200 we're going 200 by 200 to start with and see what happens okay out it comes yeah, it needs to be a lot bigger because of this horrible uh, writing. We don't want writing in the image, so we're going to make the we're going to push it down a bit and enlarge it. Oh, well, I don't know. We'll see what we we'll see how it plays. Um, wondering if we're going to pull pull it push it up a bit to get rid of the extra. The water because we don't want too much water in the image if we can avoid it so we're just going to push some of the water up and um, vertically we're going to have to really make it big so vertical is going to be 300 we're going 300 for the vertical and see how we go This is challenging. It looks simple, but it's challenging. Let's see how this one comes out. Yeah, we got less water, but we still have some of that damn writing. But we got rid of most of the writing. Um, just got to get rid of more of it. So we're going to, again, we're going to lift it a bit higher, get rid of more of the water so we're going to get rid of more of that water and we're going to make it even bigger so we're going to have to make the vertical really really big so the vertical is going to have to be 300 we're going 360 so as you can see in the first in the second one we did it's really distorted but that's just a bit of creative license we're going to give ourselves with this piece of work Uh, let's see how that looks. That looks a lot better. We don't have the the dreaded writing in the image anymore. Um, I don't know if this is going to make a really good mirror image. Uh, 
I'm actually thinking we're going to do something. I don't know what to do with it. Maybe to make it larger so that we can make the top bit the mirror image. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing with it, folks. We're just going to go with it because often it's hard to know how a mirror image will play out until you've actually assembled it. So I could be a little bit too uh, fussed about it, whatever. So let's see how we go with this. And I'm wondering where the mirror image is going to be. Um, so we're just going to turn one of them upside. Oh, just a bit rough there. Sorry, folks. Uh, so they're going to... Actually, no, that's not the way we're doing it. We're doing it with the clouds. We're doing it with the clouds in the picture. I was actually thinking the water might look better than the cloud, than here. Um, that's a tough choice. Um, we're now just going to switch over to... Just going to... Oops number of original we're just going to set this up manually just so we don't accidentally get a couple of misprints from actually we just got to go to the mirror image button that's what i was meant to do so we just got to get print two printed out Alright, that's those. So those are our mirrors. The clouds do look quite nice, interestingly enough. It's a shame the edges are not touching on the up and on the ups up up on this on this part here. And it's a little bit difficult. I'm gonna have to use the side to get the pieces to line up. So that's that one there. And we're just gonna use that side there to line up our pieces. Whoops, we're a bit crooked, folks. So it's a bit of a nuisance. It's still crooked, folks. Sorry. It's not easy trying to pull this into place. But anyway, actually that looks quite nice. I like that little that oval shape in there. So now that's really nice. That makes sense now. Got to go.